Hey guys, Nikki here. Welcome back to my channel. So in this haul, I purchased items from Ulta and Urban Decay, the uh, website. So let's go ahead and get right into it so the video won't be too long. So first thing up, I purchased two Sinful Color nail polishes. I didn't even know my Ulta carried Sinful Colors, but it's the same price as Walgreens, so that's why I got it. And I just got black on black, which is a basic black. And I also got Snow Me White, which is just a white. And I purchased these two because I'm into the Conad nail stamping thing. So, and if you're familiar with that, you really need an opaque black and white to stamp with. So I'm trying to find ones that are cheaper than the actual Conad polish because that could be a little pricey, plus you have to order it online. So if I can't find anything, then I will probably order it. But the only black I got is by Wet n Wild, and I don't have any white polishes. So I am on the hunt for a good black and good white that's very opaque. So if you guys have any suggestions, please, please comment below. So the other polishes I got are by Revlon. This is called Sparkle of Plenty. And I think this is new because it was on a display. And it's a real pretty, it looks like a black polish with some silver sparkle and like silver sequins. It's a unique polish. I don't have anything like that. So that's why I got it. And I also got a polish by Zoya. This is part of their new collection. I'm not for sure what it's called, but I love Zoya polishes. And this is called either Dual or Dual or do all looks like that if you're familiar with Zoya their polishes have people names so I really don't know how to pronounce that but this is a really gorgeous purple with like a green under or not an undertone but it has a green dual chrome glitter it could be green or it could be gold or it could be like an olive golden green not sure but it's a real pretty dual chrome Let's see if you can see it there you go, you can see it right there. So it has that dual chrome glitter in the polish. So this is a really pretty color. And so these next two polishes I purchased were clearance. You guys know I always love shopping the clearance section in Ulta. And I got the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure. Looks like this. Got that on clearance for $1.99. And this is in the color Loves Me Not. And the same thing with this. This is a gorgeous polish. It's like a midnight purple, but it has like some mm, like green and pink glitter, like a dual chrome glitter. I don't know if you're gonna see it, but it's, it's a really pretty polish, especially for the fall that's coming up for the darker colors. You're not gonna see it, but it's not as golden green as this, but you can definitely see it in here. And the last one up is by Essie. And that was on Markdown for $5.99. And this is in the color She's Picture Perfect. And this one is also one of those dual chrome. I'm, for some reason, I don't know why I got all dual chromes. But it's a lavender purple with a pink dual chrome. Looks like this. So you can kind of see it a little bit in there. right there sorry if I'm looking down my phone is kind of okay my phone was blinking going crazy anyway so those are the items that I got from Ulta just polish so the items that I picked up from Urban Decay you guys know they're having a big old sale they're trying to get rid of a lot of their things and they had lipsticks, eyeshadows, lip glosses, uh, single eyeshadow, or I said eyeshadows, uh, palettes, things like that. So I just purchased a couple, several things, but the cool thing is that those single eyeshadows that they have, they, they were clearance down to $9. Now they're clearance down to $6. So if you didn't get any, now is the time to get them because they're only $6 now. So. I didn't get any this time, which I'm glad I didn't because when I purchased, when I uh, uh, when I uh, picked up this order, God, I cannot talk. When I placed this order, the eyeshadows were nine dollars, but now they're six. So, but I just wanted to share with you what I got. And the first things up are some lipsticks. Now these were marked down to eight dollars, and they look like this. 
I really like the packaging. It's just a little bulky and it has like that dagger in it. And this color is called Midnight Cowboy. So it's just a nice neutral, it's like this. And it has the emblem stamp in there. And the cool thing is I already have the matching gloss, the Midnight Cowboy gloss. If you guys get that Midnight Emergency Kit, it comes with a full size lip gloss of the Midnight Cowboy. And that's what it looks like. It does have some shimmer. But the crazy thing is that's, I'm a little mad about that because I purchased my um, Midnight Emergency Kit for like 12 or $15, I can't remember. But they have it on sale now for 22 or $20, something like that. So I don't understand that because maybe I'm gonna say spring before the summer, they had marked that kit down to like, like I said, 12 or $15 and then they took it off. So now they're put it back, now they put it back on and they only marked it down to 22, so I don't understand that. But, I mean, it's an okay kit if you really love shimmery shadows because every single shadow in that palette is shimmery. Um, I hope that makes sense. But you get the full size um, lip gloss, which is a good value because I think those lip glosses are like $20 by themselves, so. You kind of have to look like it, like you have to look at it like you're getting the shadows free and then paying for the lip gloss. So, but this is the next lipstick, and this is in the color Love Child. It's a nice pink. This is a cream finish. It just looks like that. And this next one up is called Hot Pants. This, is a, this also is a pretty pink, but this has some shimmer. The only thing I don't like about this one is that the shimmer in this is like a silver color, so it kind of gives a weird reflection to the lipstick, in my opinion. I, I could be wrong, but the shimmer is, is silver, so it makes this lipstick look like it has like a high sheen or a high frost, and it really doesn't. So the next one up is my favorite, and this is called Sellout. That's the color, and it's a really pretty color. It's like a brown pink color, and it's a cream finish. And that is what it looks like. It's just a, I guess it kind of looks like a mauve color. It's a really pretty color. So next up in the lip section, I got two of those pocket, those pocket rocket lip glosses. They look like this, and this is in the color James, and it's cute because it has James up there posing. And I love the applicator. It's a brush applicator, but it has like a clear wand. And this pink comes up pretty good. It's a pretty decent pink. So you can wear that by itself or over a lipstick. And the last one I got is in the color Kirk. It's a neutral. And there's Kirk. And this is more of like a clear neutral. There's absolutely no, no color. So, I mean, you can still wear that by itself, but this is probably better. I got this actually to put over the Midnight Cowboy lipstick, so it's just to tone down some of the shimmer. I like to personally wear the Midnight Cowboy lip gloss over a cream or matte, you know, nude type lipstick, so. Anyways, the last item I got is the black palette. I was so excited that Urban Decay finally marked this bad boy down. I think this was marked down to either $13 or $14, I can't remember. But of course you get the Primer Potion in Eden, which is actually my favorite one. I got a bunch of Primer Potions. I've never, you know, I never paid for it. It always just come inside the uh, kits, but I love Eden, it's my favorite one. And here is what the palette looks like. And you get six shades and you also get a pencil in zero. And I love every single shade you get a matte black of course and then everything else is like a blackened color so like for example there's a black and purple a black and green black and gold blue gray like a gray gum metal so really nice shades also too if you were thinking about getting their new smoky palette and you don't want to pay the money for it 
this is a cheaper and a good alternative to get, you know, just to satisfy that shopping itch, I guess. But this is what the palette looks like. So that is all that I picked up from those two places. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I will talk to you guys later.